Simple things to consider when you're in the throes of a game. King safety is paramount. So it's okay grabbing pieces, but also you have to look at what the opponent is potentially going to be able to do to you. Ouch. And as always, king safety is key when you're in the throes of a fast speedy game and you feel there's some sort of checkmate or some sort of check on the opponent's king, tunnel vision will take place. As you can see, looking to go for a trade off with the queen, the queen looks to come round the back. Um, I'm believing my king is okay, but it doesn't really have any company with it whatsoever. So we bring the rook up now, looking to try and tantalize and attack towards this pawn somehow, you know, potentially getting the queen here, that type of thing. But our king is home alone. So we end up losing a minor piece due to that situation. So you have to be very mindful about keeping keeping company with the king, even if you feel there's a an attempt at an attack towards their king. You still have to look at what the opponent can do to you. So try and um, not avoid looking at what the opponent can potentially do to you. Um, as mentioned in the previous video, you may feel that, yes, you've got company with your king, but you also really genuinely have to have a look at what realistically can the opponent do in this game here. I'm believing, well, I can block it off with the bishop at some point, really. King's got a bit of protection with the rook. And then the queen comes down, still thinking, well, maybe we'll just block it off with the pawn. But then obviously changing the trajectory, feeling a little bit of pressure, and still feeling fairly okay with this position and just thinking that I can bring the bishop here, but forgetting that there's a position that the queen can come here and take the pawn. So the pawn can't take back. So pushing up, and then we'll lose our queen because the rook takes. Simple little move order, things like that. It happens, and really, that's how we develop. Looking at these sort of um, games and basically saying, well, you know, you, you know you're not supposed to do that. But under the game, under the pressure, tunnel vision does uh, creep in, and sometimes we underestimate the opponent's position on the board. And that's where then we will fall foul. So it's really about trying to read the game, read the board, and never kind of underestimating the opponent's attempts and just see what you can block off before it actually snow, snowballs into a full-blown attack position like this game here. Okay, so we'll jump in with a 10-3 based on the quick learning session that we've just gone through, um, looking at the games that were disadvantaged um, throughout this week and see if we can learn from that experience I'm going to bring the bishop through and attack the king every game is different this is why we do make blunders this is why we make mistakes I'm going to castle i do tend to feel a little bit better after i've done evaluation of my games it's almost like going to like a rocky movie and you know you come out all buzzed up type thing and so let's have a look what is going to be right time is on our side i suppose it's a 10 minute three second game let's get the knight out do we feel like we're doing anything wrong at this moment they've moved their knight twice so they obviously feel like they're going to be doing something with that knight i'm going to bring the queen off the back so they're obviously, they're just stopping the knight from moving. Shall we bring the rook opposite or the rook opposite the king? It's all simple, basic stuff at the minute. Let's take this bishop off the board, getting a little bit arty there, and then attack the knight. Take with the pawn or the rook. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, realistically, so probably take with the pawn. Take the knight. Oh, take the queen. Wow, we're just about to... Let's take the queen. Doesn't mean you've won the game because you've got the queen, but they have resigned. 
Okay, 10 and 3. This session is looking at the lessons learned from the recent losses and the recent draws. So let's see if we can pick up from those areas. We've done all our evalu evaluation of those games, around about 85%, probably even 90% was my error. So that's easily rectified. Um, there were more or less silly mistakes, move order mistakes, that type of thing. So nothing major really. So I'm not too worried about. Not too worried about what we need to do to develop. Going to Castle, King Safety, and see if we can try and avoid that type of thing. It's, it definitely wasn't that the opponents were better. It was that we had made um, mistakes that shouldn't have been made. Let's just bring this bishop here. It almost makes you scared to make a move, you know, once you've done evaluation. It's like, oh, I'm not too sure if it's going to be right. Let's just get the knight out. But as I've mentioned, keeping a good solid base, basic moves does really help. Let's take this knight off the board now. Let's attack the bishop. take the bishop off the board looking to get the queen into some sort of activity so I think I'm going to I'm going to go here the knight's going to move because it's wanting to get the bishop but it's got no protection on it's not actually done that okay I don't think I want to take just yet I think I'm just going to bring the bishop back if they want to open up space in front of their king then that's nice for us Stacking the pawn has got no protection, so we can simply do this. And what do we know from our experience? They still carry on attacking down on this file, even though the pawn is blocked off. But they're looking to attack through this centre bit here. Gives us time to move our rook, so let's just get the rook opposite their rook. Basic chest, nothing too flashy. Just trying to look at what it is the opponent's attempting to do, but also trying to make strengths out of what they're trying to make as a strength. Almost nullifying their strength. This knight's got to move at some point. Probably going here because it's going to want to get the bishop. Queen's moved it's on the dark square. It's got this diagonal. What else is it doing? They put a lot of thought into that. Is it just supporting this pawn pushing down? Okay, small little move. We could push this pawn here if they are thinking of doing that. If we did that, the queen would take though. So we could bring the bishop and attack. Let's take it off the line and just hit the queen. x ray in through to the rook. So the pawn is going to drop. Bishop can still take and still get the rook. So do they have a check on our queen? That's probably what they're thinking next. Are they probably going to move? No. Knight? No. They resigned. Excellent. Yeah, because I don't think there was much that they could have done, really. Blocking. Bishop still going to get the rook. Doesn't mean we've won the game, though, just because we're getting the rook. Because they're getting the bishop. So it's just an exchange. We'll just be up the exchange. And you can still play on like that. Okay, interesting. Okay, 10 and 3. Just practicing the findings from the recent evaluation of the games that had been lost and games that had been drawn. And as we mentioned, um, about 85, 90% were my, my error. Let's get the bishop up. Maybe managing here, which means we're probably going to lock down here. Let's just push this. So as we've mentioned, you get a little bit from, oh, he's actually coming in for the bishop. I suppose we can let them have the bishop and not too fussed. The losing tempo developing pieces, which is good if they do take the bishop. No, so we're going to castle.
Then just bring the knight out, attacking the knight. Looks like they're keeping the tension, getting the pieces developed. Basic chess, it does genuinely work. And the more basic, the better as well. So I'm going to attack the knight here. And using basic chess against higher rated players as well really does work, you know. And there's a school of thought that you have to use some technical, magical wizardry to beat higher rated players. But simple, basic chess will take you through. Those simple concepts all work. I think he'll take the bishop now. Whoa, not. So another wasted motion. We've got like two on one on this pawn. I'm going to take with the bishop. Attacking the knight as well. Got to be mindful. Still may have something. But late de development of the pieces might make them feel a little bit congested. But when you do see the basic concepts in the game, I'm going to just take the knight off the board. I don't want to be too flowery. If I can bring my queen here, maybe to get it sighted here, it's going to get challenged, so we're baiting whatever it is that they're going to hit it with. The bishop's out. I'm going to hit the knight. Where are we sending the knight to? We can't go here. We can go here, but he'll get taken. We can go here or get taken. He could just leave it, or he could just attack our queen, but we can take. Queen takes, pawn takes. That's probably what they're going to do. Oh, that way. <laughs> I didn't see that way, did I? All right. Um, so they've gone that way. The queen has to move now with a check on the king. Just squeeze in here. What was I saying? I lost my chain of thought. Oh, and he's guarded, so he's actually escaped. My white square bishop's not in the game. Could try and get it here. Does he have any of this? Bishop can just come back and defend. Hit the pawn, open up. No. Oh. Go and attack their pawn here. Gives them something to think about. Rook comes and defends. It's too much work for the queen. Let's get busy. Let's make this bishop active. We know the bishop's going to come back and defend. Uh, but they might be too late. We might as well get it taken off the board. Is there something different now? Again, it's overworking the queen. It's not. It can't do it by itself. So I'm going to bring the bishop and attack the queen. Higher piece. The queen has moved. I don't think it makes much difference, does it? Is it a rook rover? Rook here, and then just targeting. Going to give that a try. Or are we too late? But does he drop somehow? Does the, oh, the knight will come here, won't it? Attack the queen. It's come down for the rook and the knight. Oh. Okay, let's just bring the rook across. Yeah, the knight's going to go and save the day, isn't it? Damn. Let's continue. And then what do we do? It's not taking the knight. He's doing something. We're not going to be fast enough if he's seen it. Oh, check. And mate. Yes. Mate, nice one. Very smooth, targeting. Simple, basic chess. I don't know if I'm going to have a look at the evaluation after it, just to see whether or not we were fast enough or not. If the knight had gone here, maybe, and done something. Asking for a rematch, I do not think so. Let's put the old... 
get to about here and get this all. Okay, it's showing us minus 2.4, so then we're round here, there, 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 there. Queen moves, get the rook across. Oh, it's got them winning there, plus two. Yeah, it's cost of grabbing material though, so we moved the rook. Uh, I didn't really have any losing any sleep over that. What's it actually saying? Because it's showing plus two, but our new, our new marker is. Um, what is it, plus five, because we know that the plus twos can easily got back, and maximum we said was plus five, so we don't really need to lose any sleep over this bit. At this moment in time, we only got to a plus three, so happy. Moving the rook across, now this is where I said, does the knight, could the knight be coming here? No, because, oh, what's it saying? Oh, we could take that. Because the pawn can't take or the x-ray. Excellent. Right, okay, so it doesn't look like there was much that they could do. Nice one. Okay, 10 free. Just working the evaluation stuff from the recent losses and draws. Let's develop the night. Oh what I was talking about the basics, wasn't I? in the previous video and really the basics do stand you in good stead if you understand the basics then learning the advanced stuff is going to be a lot easier i think when you learn advanced stuff and then try to learn basics i think it's a little bit harder because you've got your brain full of all these airy fairy thoughts and it's hard for it to come back and think, oh, well, that's a simple move. I can do this and that, and I can do the other. Um, our brains don't work that way. So learning the basics properly right from the beginning really does help formulate a better structure for you. I mean, this is nice and basic, nice and steady. The opponent's doing a basic opening as well. I'm actually waiting to see somebody do the lazy man thing. You know, with the Fianchetto type stuff, sitting back waiting for the overextension, just to go through the explanation as to why um, beginners should probably stay away from that sort of stuff. Um, we'll just go here. It's getting a bit fancy, giving up the bishop. It can be quite deadly, though, because they start squeezing the queen here and stuff when they get rid of this knight. But I'm not sure if they've done it right, but we will see it. We'll wait and see. So they're taking a lot of thought. We have to be very careful. They've sacrificed the bishop. And we know that when people do sacrifices, or even if we do a sacrifice, it's to improve our position on the board. So the queen is coming to put a check on our um, king. So I think we need to be just blocking that off so that they can't get to this diagonal. So all we're going to do now is just simply just look at blocking. Knight's not coming here. The queen can come here. I suppose something can attack it. Still blocking off this if we can. Want to try and get rid of this if we can as well. But he does have flexible pieces that might look to disturb that. If we could get the bishop here. Might have to sacrifice the bishop. Not sure. So really just sitting waiting. Queen's got the diagonal here, but we don't have any support type thing to attack it. None of that, none of that. Yeah, so they're going to try really hard to try and get that diagonal towards our king. So we can leave it and then go for the exchange of the queen. So in the meantime, let's hit the bishop, the knight, sorry. So if they come back, they're going to have a two-on-one. suppose we can push on to the knight, or we can take. Which one do we want to do? Get rid of the centre pawn. Maybe the pawn just takes back. Or do we attack the knight? And where are we sending the knight to? Around here to attack the pawn. Any play on his king is still not really... Could go for an x-ray with the bishop bringing it to life I'm going to bring the bishop to life 
X-Ring through to the Queen. I think they'll probably still consider taking the pawn. I think we'll just take the Queen off the board if that happens. But are we giving them something? Yeah. Alright, so if we went and attacked twice, like we said, the Knight can come here, but then obviously... The queen will get taken, so that might be a tempo win for us. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. What's the sneaky little bishop got? Nothing at the moment. Pawn attacking the queen. Knight doesn't have a check on the queen. Knight doesn't have a check. Bishop doesn't have a check. Queen's not got the space to attack the king. Okay, just rest the brain now. Because in, sometimes in these sort of situations, it might look good because we're going to be getting the knight. But then once we've captured, sometimes our position isn't going to be as good. Knight's protecting the bishop. So I think the pawn just simply takes. I don't need to overdo that. Um, is the bishop coming here for the queen to come here because the rook is blocking the bishop at the minute? I don't think we're going to be fast enough. I think the rook's going to move, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, let's just go like this. It's going towards the king, Gary. We want to do this, but I think they're going to be wise to that. They might forget that the knight is protecting the bishop. So we've got a stealth knight. So I'm going to do this because it's a mate threat. So if the rook takes, we can just, yeah, okay. And they've resigned. Oh, that was nice talking that one through as well. Interesting.